Hey guys, so I'm back with another look. This is going to be a very exciting video because it's going to be a collaboration with one of these girls that I freaking love here on YouTube and that is Tamika. We decided to do a collaboration and this collaboration is going to be a three-part collaboration. So you guys stay tuned for the different multiple looks that we're going to be um, achieving. But this collaboration um, is going to be called I Have a Sweet Tooth. So we're going to do inspired looks um, inspired by food, candy, candy, cookies. Uh, I think I said candy twice. <laughs> so just different things. So for the first look, we decided to do candy. I have no idea what she's going to be doing, but I cannot wait to see her look. So I will have her link for sure down in the description box. But for my look, um, I picked one of my very, very first favorite chocolate candy that I can think of. And that was Butterfinger. So this is what the inspiration of the colors came from. I got the blues and then the blues and then the yellows and the yellows. There's like two different shades of yellows on this bar and also two shades of blue in this bar as well. And then I collaborated the actual chocolate part into my crease. So if you guys would like to see how to achieve this Butterfinger inspired look, then continue to watch. Also, like I said, don't forget to check out my girl's Tamika video as well. I will have her link down at the bottom. Her videos are amazing. If you guys love my video, you will most definitely love her videos as well. She is amazing. And yes, yeah, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so the first thing that I did was apply a primer to my eyelid. And I used the Milani's Eyeshadow Primer. And I just simply put that all over my eyelid and also to my lower lash line as well. Next, I'm going to be taking a matte soft brown. And I'm going to be taking a crease brush with this as well. And I'm going to simply take this brown and I'm going to put this right into my crease. And this is going to act as my transition color. And for my highlight, I'm going to be going in with pumpkin pie. With a big fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pack that underneath my eyebrow. And to help blend out the crease color and the highlight color, I'm just going back in with that brush and reapplying that color. And this is going to help blend the two colors together. Going to be taking Karma Cosmetics Pigment in Chrome Yellow, which is a matte, very beautiful yellow. So I'm going to be taking that with a shader brush. And I'm just going to simply pack this color all over my eyelid. So I'm going in with another Karma Cosmetics pigment. This is a Pro Matte pigment. And this one is called Royal Blue. Please don't mind the lack of the label at the bottom. I kind of got it wet at the bottom. So it's kind of hard to see. But this one is again called Royal Blue. Take this pigment with a Sigma E20 brush. And I'm going to pack this to my lower lash line. Sweeping it all the way or halfway across my eyelid, my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking this Karma pigment and it's a beautiful light frosty yellow. And I'm going to be taking this yellow with Karma setting spray. I'm just going to spray my back of my hand, dip the brush in there and I'm also going to dip it inside the pigment. And I'm just going to pop this right into my inner tear duct and a little bit to my lower lash line as well. Doing the same thing with the setting spray. I'm going to dip my brush. It's an angle brush. And now I'm going to be taking Karma's eyeshadow in Aquamarine. And this is beautiful teal color. I'm going to be taking some of that. And I'm going to pop this right in between the two colors, which is the yellow and that dark blue. Just very little of it. I'm going to be taking a little bit of pencil meat in indigo, which is a blue. Taking a little bit of this pencil, I'm going to put this in my waterline. Being these two colors right here. And I'm going to be mixing them with a crease pointer brush. <clears throat> and I'm going to simply put this into my crease like I just said. But I'm going to kind of 
not really cut the crease with this but kind of make it more defined with these two dark browns like so and that's why I put my eyeliner on first so I can get where I want the placement of the cutting to go so this part is always optional depending on how dramatic your, um, your wing eyeliner eyeliner Alright, so this completes the look once I got done with the face and of course apply the lashes and just made everything happen. So for the rest of my face, just for, just in case I forget to put it down in the description box, um, I set my face with this Pacifica Natural Skin Care All Right Multi Mineral BB Cream. And then I apply my Maybelline's Liquid Foundation in 355. And then I set it with my Ruby Kisses Mineral pressed powder and honey brown contour with chocolate chocolate hair and for my blush I use NYX cinnamon blush and for my lips I started off with the NYX I mean not NYX wet n wild lipstick and C914C and it's just like a undescribable color like a rusty raspberry brown color and then I glossed it with this City Color Cosmetics Lip Gloss. No name to it. And I used one of those um, Carmen Cosmetics Old Lip Gloss in Buff. And this completes the look for my lashes. I think I'm using Cherry Blossom Lashes number 13. And I think that's about it for this look. It looks very similar to Butterfinger Bar. Now I'm zooming so you guys can see this a little better. Also remind me of a bird. I don't know why. So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And also don't forget to check out my girl Tamika's look as well. I'll be sure to have her link down at the bottom. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye guys.